All right, so in this little simulation, what we're going to be looking at is kind of going over the results that you guys saw from your lab uh, with the moon's phases and a little more detail on why we see what we do with the moon. <clears throat> Many people, uh, when we're talking about the phases of the moon, think that the phases of the moon are due strictly to the Earth's shadow being cast on the moon. And we saw that that wasn't the case uh, as you guys walked around and changed uh, the orientation of how you, the Earth, and the Moon and the Sun all line up. And depending on where you stand, uh, you saw different parts of the Moon uh, being lit up, different parts in shadow. And that's what actually causes the phases. <clears throat> uh, one thing that that simulation didn't really show was that the Moon does go around us, and obviously we're going around the Sun. Also, if you watch very closely on this simulation as we're progressing through different phases, um, here we're going into the waxing as the sun or the, the lit part of the moon increases. Um, notice the, uh, the features that we see don't change. They may be in shadow, they may be in light, but they don't change. We only see half the moon. And now that we're going into the, uh, the waning phases where the, uh, the lit side of the moon is becoming less and less, we still see certain Mario and features that uh, are always facing us. So the big question that kind of follows the phases of the moon is why do we only see one side of the moon? All right. Um, <clears throat> a common answer to that question is that the moon doesn't rotate. And, and from our perspective here, it definitely doesn't look like it's rotating. Uh, it's always facing us. But if we change our perspective on this, and we go to a more top-down view. We can see the Earth is in the center. And the moon has been enlarged. And it's got this little red line on it to show uh, the part that's always facing us. <clears throat> now, if the moon didn't rotate, what we should see as t uh, I progress through the month or so is this red line should always face to the left. Because the moon wouldn't rotate, so that line would never be uh, facing anywhere else. If it does rotate though, this is going to change the orientation. So let's go ahead and hit play. <clears throat> as you can see as we're progressing through time, again, the same side always faces us. We just saw that. And that's why this red line always is facing the Earth. The moon is rotating on its axis. All right, and two words that you guys want to jot down in your notes, rotation and revolution. Rotation is spinning on an axis, like a top. The moon is definitely spinning on its axis as it is revolving, or another word that would be synonymous is orbiting, going around something. As the moon rotates on its axis, it's also revolving around the Earth. Now, why can we only see one side of the moon? Well, this is due to something called synchronous rotation. It takes the exact same amount of time for the moon to rotate once on its axis as it does for it to revolve once around the Earth. Very, very important topic. Synchronous rotation. So again, it's spinning once on its axis for every one time it goes around the Earth. That's why we see one side of the moon. If it was not equal to each other, we would eventually see all different sides of the moon. <clears throat> 